really shouldn't be smoking while going to sleep. Isn't that going to start a fire? I think it's affixed. No, she sometimes has it and she sometimes doesn't. That's a good point. So May's leaving? I guess. Bye, guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. I don't want her to die out in the woods like the creepy ghost men. Because remember how they went mad and they froze their bodies to their instruments out in the cold? <gasps> oh, ah! What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. <gasps> what? They got a crossbow? Boom! Get away from her, you piece of shit! You, you're outnumbered, asshole! Ugh, you shot me! And we can all use both our arms. I'll personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, B. Ugh. Ugh. What? It was probably a guy. Like a real guy. Yeah, I figured. It sounded almost wolfish with the arrrr. Yeah. It better not be, like, <laughs> their idol. <laughs> That'd be really weird. Nah, it wouldn't. You okay? What are... You are such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? This is all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume? And following me around? And kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He... it... it's in my dreams. Hey. Kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods. To die. Okay. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly uh, we all would be. Listen, I'm all, um, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're, God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <laughs> that sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. So... I don't know, both are us going alone, so let's go with this. You all wait here. I'll go. Uh. Uh. Eh. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk, May? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right. Let's go do something really stupid. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it, shut or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. Mm. 
I don't know. <laughs> These decisions are beyond me at this point. It's odd because the first one, it's like he, it's like it's down there, or I have to. Like the second one's more determined. Like I have to go down there. Yeah, I don't know. Which one do you want to say? Like the first one? Yeah, I. Uh... He it, whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang! You know, I think the rest of them should probably be armed too. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down here, just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. It'd be terrible if they all died in this mine. That'd be horrible. Be sad. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, May. You sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I... I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then, we'll come out of this together. Oof, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like, a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? Who do we know that would howl? Some kind of wolfish character, but Yeah, who? I don't know of any wolf characters. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure? Well, here we are. <laughs> May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like... Something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, I gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> More like night in the mines rather than night in the woods, huh? <laughs> yeah, not exactly the, uh... That would be way confusing. Whereas, Why, like, is it the stars or just... I don't know. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. <sighs> if they had called it Night in the Mine, then we would have kind of known. Mm-hmm. I wonder where the massacre occurred. Is it, like, nearby? Don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. Oh, it's where the cult is. And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through here. Through there. Through there. Okay.
Did they bring a flashlight? Nope. I don't think B cigarette's gonna light the way. These are the worst goonies. Well, at least we know we're still moving. <laughs> because of B cigarette. Yeah. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. Shoot, villain voices about the same. Uh-oh, there's a bunch of them. Uh. So why is it that that one guy has like a, is it the lamp? Yeah. This is weird. Uh, shoot, voices. We've been hot swapping too much, so I'm losing. Well, it's it. probably him, right? Yeah. Or just okay. a general. Uh, there they are. They're there right here. Okay. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. So it's an eyed. Yeah. Eyed, you'll do no such thing. It's out of our, your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? <laughs> Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. The... then... Why are you all trying to kill me? Uh, that's, new voice. That's your war voice. Uh, no, the war voice is like over to the right a little bit. I don't know. Uh, well, it sounds like they're all men, so yeah. make up more men voices. Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers? Contributors. Um... Okay, so we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. I'm starting to sound like B. I, just, whatever, just go with it. To some degree. Because I, when I do a low voice, it's almost well, like the yeah, B voice. It's different. The problem is we have a bunch of faceless characters that we have to kind of identify <laughs> by voice alone, and since none of them have anything well, identifying about them- Well, I'll make them even them. more growlier. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Mm. Uh. Wait. So you think that I'd- he kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's... he's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. Is that the hole? I've seen this. Or I've... I've felt it. Uh, okay. Well, it's Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. Oh, wait, no, this is still yours. Sorry. Okay. Didn't see the 20 thing. years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, this old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper. Abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up, 
1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. So what does this have to do with you? Or me? Or anyone? You got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. The government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. While we worked ourselves to death. Uh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished. Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Id Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? I... I... Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Uh... One of the other dudes. The one's E takes a shine in two. Rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this. After that first time. After we picked one out. Well. Not only was the town holding stable. But it was almost like you, we were getting younger. And money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. So, what, do they make sacrifices yeah, to this hole? Yeah, it sounds like they're tossing dead people down the hole. Picked? First one was Tom Turner, who, believe you me, was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. What, so it's like a sacrifice to, like, some nature god in the yeah, area? Yeah, pretty much. You throw them in the hole? Uh, they're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules. And had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never picked no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. Casey. Yep. You've been... Oh god. Oh no. Do you want to ask about Casey? Or all the people? I don't know. Up to you. Yeah, let's ask about Casey. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society. Except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. Was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. 
You know he was taking up business with this cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. Oh, what, so they are making meth or something? Yeah. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey? And you want to act like we didn't do him and his whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. I think that's the second guy. All right now, throw it down. Right now, or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Uh. Another dude. Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I. I. Uh. uh throw it down, son. Yeah. You know, do that. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. Uh. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. Houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back in order together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. I'm going to die down here. Don't tell me she falls in. Might be. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now? Financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? For some one shitty boss who is afraid of dying. That don't matter. Huh. It does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this... You remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back, the kids never come back. Everything crumbles, Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon, we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. You know what? If they don't have to sacrifice kids to a murder monster, why not just leave the town? Yeah. I... Let's just keep going. Okay, okay. I've... seen it. 
I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it eyed. You don't know a thing about what he wants. What he is. I'd I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I... I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just... horror? That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like, everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here, fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but... Like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened like a long time ago. Or how they remember, or like picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh. I thought I... <gasps> oh, they're taking her! B! X, X, X! Kick him off! Kick him off! Kick him off! Ah! Oh! Who was it? Ew, did his leg or arm get torn off? Yeah. But hey, if everyone else is trapped in the mines, then they don't have to worry about sacrifices anymore, right? Maybe, yeah. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? May, say something! Eh? <laughs> May? <laughs> Shh, it's okay. It's okay. I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh. Give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days? Third time's the charm. 